How yeah. long have you been in Berry Farm for? 52 years. Wow. Nice what have you been doing in the last four years then? I was here pretty much where I'm stood now, waiting for the news that Berry were at 12 in the Football League. Will tears be shed? They yeah. will, they will, yeah. knowing them. Yeah, they will. So how did Berry go from being a respected servant of English football to not existing for four years? <laughs> this man is Steve Dale. He admitted on radio that he didn't know Berry existed before he purchased them. That's probably a basic entry level requirement when buying a football club. He bought Berry for £1 in 2018 from Stuart Day. It's more common than you think in football that you can buy a club for basically the same price as a chocolate bar these days. Well, we're here then at Gig Lane. This stadium is now the home of a, a ninth level club in the pyramid. To be a football club owner in the UK, you've got to pass the EFL fit and proper test. Steve Dale had been a director of over 20 companies that were either dissolved in liquidation or a CVA. Yeah, go on then. Let's let him in. That'll be a right laugh. See 5,000 here today. It's just uh, amazing. 5,000. That's, yeah. that's incredible. For Division 9 Division, as well. Yeah. And um, hopefully we can carry on that momentum through the yeah. season now and, um, and move on and uh, you know, get up the leagues. You know, how far we can get up the league as a fan or, mm. or fan run club. You know, it, it, you know, because as you go up it's like to the National League North, you know, there's a lot of money there. It's great to be back. You know, there's a lot of memories of this ground. It's great that we're back in the ground. Yeah. But Berry were in a lot of debt. They couldn't pay players staff or HMRC, which is tax. Steve Dale was given an offer for Berry. He rejected it. Reportedly, it was because he believed he could get a better offer. Berry were then thrown out of the English Football League in August 2019. I'll just say I am actually a Bolton fan. So you're going to watch the game? Yeah, and I, I want I want the rivalry back. Yeah, it'd be brilliant to have those matches back again. Yeah. But at the moment, it'll have to be rivalry against... Presswick Chairs. Yeah. <laughs> Dale placed Berry into administration. Berry still existed, they just had no players, no league, no staff. You do need those things, if we're being completely honest. Wow, there's an old entrance, so you can see the ticket price used to be £20 for adults, today it's £10. But they have dropped down about five divisions since those ticket prices. I'm not being brutal, it's just a fact. Phoenix Knights, fab television show. Phoenix Clubs, completely different concept. A Phoenix Club is a football club created so the fans still have someone to support when their club is going through struggles. Berry AFC began the 2021 season in Division 1 North of the NWCFL. They ground shared with Radcliffe Football Club. Everyone's saying hello, everyone's excited. Look, you've got volunteers everywhere. Mm. Volunteers who've painted the steps inside the ground, volunteers who've cleaned the seats, volunteers who've cut the grass and got it ready for football. That is bringing the community together. And I'm sure it would happen if, if City or United, Bolton, Wigan wanted that. In fact, we've seen it at Wigan and Bolton in, in the troubles they've had, but it just brings the best out of people. And non-league football has this different sense of community that nowhere else kind of gets. And that's what makes it so special. Berry FC was said to have debts of over £15 million. The administrators, whose job is to find a way to pay this money off, put Gig Lane up for sale. Berry fans were tirelessly thinking of ways in which they can get their stadium and their club back and one year later a group called Established 1885 purchased Gig Lane and acquired the Berry FC name. So Berry FC had a stadium and no team. Berry AFC had a team but no Gig Lane. Fans voted to merge Berry AFC and Berry FC. The FA confirmed that Berry FC could be used.
So my grandma, she started coming in late 70s, early 80s. Um, she was a season ticket holder year, year on year. She was always here. And um, the club went under in 2019. Um, and she followed shortly after. I think I still think it's linked. I think when Barry went, a part of her went as well. Um, so me and my family are here today. Just kind of, you know, she'll be here with us. We know she will. Be. Um, but it's a special day for all of us in the town as well. It's just very special. won this league 18 years ago and then six years later they signed Jamie Vardy. You probably won't sign Jamie Vardy, that doesn't make any logistical sense, but you will sign the next Jamie Vardy. You just don't know where football's going to take you in life. history books is that we create them ourselves and we think of Bury as a club that have won two FA Cups. Those FA Cups were in 1901 and 1903. I'd be a bit alarmed if there's anybody on the present day that was alive to see those FA Cups but we still think of them and Bury fans will cherish the fact that they've won those two FA Cups once it's been written and it can't be unwritten. So 100 years ago we think of that and in 100 years time we won't be thinking about the villains of the story. Steve Dale, a relevant, an irrelevant man in the part of history in which Berry and the supporters were basically able to come together as a community and save their football ground and save their club. And this next 10 years, 15 years of Berry basically trying to get promoted and promoted and get back to the Football League will be a huge part of, of their history that they'll look fondly back on. And they can forget all the stuff that was before it and all the irrelevant people that were involved in the demise because that was nothing to do with them. And basically people came, tried to kill their club and they resurrected it. And that is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Imagine the people who lived here that don't like football and got four years of peace. I thought you were dead, Barry. <laughs> I thought I watched Tipping Point in Peace here. 